Graham. It's going to be a bit of a sickening game at times, can't it? Because <laughs> you've done so well and then an error and, and you come away with nothing. Yeah, um, I feel like we deserve something from the game, but you know, it's, uh, you, we can't keep repeating that story. The only thing I'll say to you is from a progress point of view, we had uh, we had 60 minutes out of the game against Cardiff and then against West Brom we had 6 minutes out of the game tonight we've had one one action um, and we're, we're getting closer to it um, but we need to win a game of football and that's, that's where we are They must be distraught in there mustn't they because they put absolutely everything into it and, and haven't got anything Yeah but we're together, the whole group uh, the staff, the players um, and uh, we'll get there it's just if, it was, if playing the championship was easy, everybody would be doing it, and, and they're not. Um, and we're, we are there technically, tactically, physically, we're there. And it's just that last mental step. Once we win a game of football in the championship, we'll be, we'll be absolutely fine. Is it hard for a manager to try and eradicate those errors out of a game? Because they will happen from time to time. Yeah, but you want to give players freedom. You invest in players' brains and, and, their, uh, and their football actions. Um, and obviously, I didn't see the goal had actually turned away. I think Simon threw the ball to Ryan. These things happen. Ryan's in a confident moment in his career. You want him to take the ball at that point. You trust him. Um, and obviously, we get punished for it, which is, is what's happened at the minute. But I think we, you need to believe you can win a game of football. Um, I think the stats were all in our favour. Possession, shots off target, shots on target. But it's got to go in the back of the net. And... Um, We've got to go and win on Saturday, and that's where we are. It's yeah, probably a sign if your goalkeeper had had a good game up to that point, and then maybe rushed the throw out, and that's that's what led to their chance. Yeah, and he, that's that comes a lot from training as well. And I don't mean with us. We in, we, when we signed Simon, he was a, a real counter-attacking goalkeeper, so they train every day to catch a ball and then quickly get to the edge of the box and look to play. It's not always on, and in the British game, we've just been under the cosh a little bit. Matty heads the ball back. Um, sometimes you have to read the tempo of the game and you know we, we've spoke about that a lot but I'd rather take the positives of what Simon did today because I thought um, I thought he was excellent in the game um, and I mean ultimately it wasn't down to him it's a it's a throwout and Ryan stands on the ball I think I sort of saw it on the on the uh, big screen but we're getting punished for everything but we're getting closer as well so you've just got to keep believing you must have been happy at half time when you chatted to them because you you didn't been dominant pretty much first half. Yeah, but I like I'd be happy if we were mm. a goal or two up and we weren't. Um, but I think you have to understand Luton Town is coming to Hillsborough with this massive stadium and massive crowd and handled the occasion, was competitive in the occasion, wasn't mentally phased by it, and it's happened a little bit at Cardiff and uh, we've had a lot of big clubs and there is a lot of big clubs in the league. Um, and we've grew in every game. Even today, we grew. We got we got better. It was down to one action, not six minutes or not sixty minutes. And I believe that that wins just around the corner. Craney, do you know any news on him? I think he's damaged his medial, so we've lost Dan Potts and Martin Craney in the last <laughs> the last few days. Which is as football sometimes you just it's another opportunity for other players. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. What's, um, what's happened to Dan Potts? Um, just felt he's growing a little bit after Saturday. So uh, we're hoping to look after him uh, during the week and be, be available for Saturday. Callum McManaman not in the squad? Is yeah, he felt his hamstring after the game at the weekend. There was a ball over his head he reached for and just tweaked it a little bit. But again, we're hopeful that he's going to be available for the weekend. Is it disappointing first off you get the best chance through um, Ryan Tunnicliffe? Um, you put it off target, didn't it? Yeah, I think we had, uh, I don't know what the stats were on target, off target, but we had more shots off target, more shots on target than Sheffield Wednesday. It's just the next sort of level again, Mike, is to put that ball in the back of the net and cut people's throats and be ruthless. And that's the last little bit missing now. We're doing, we're doing ever so well in every single area and it'll come. It'll come, I've got no doubt. We're growing every single game. It's just, it's a step that we're taking and um, once we get it, we'll be, we'll be up and running. And um, James Bree at left back, is that a position he's, he's played before? He's quite comfortable. Uh, he has played that before, yeah. Uh, but Brendan Galloway was feeling his knee and Dan Potts was feeling his groin, so we had to adapt and I thought he adapted really well. Um, 
I thought he did really well in the game. He's an intelligent footballer. He reads the game very well. Technically, he's really, really secure in possession. So, as I've said, Mike, you know, I want to win football matches there for this football club. But within any kind of performance, you have to you have to look at what actually happened. Now, the performance breakdown today was one mistake. That's where the performance broke down. Outside of that was excellent, was totally acceptable for a League One club coming to Sheffield Wednesday, who not so long ago were in two playoff semis and finals and compete the way we competed, but we need to make the next step and we're getting closer to it. Yeah, he had a good, good chance and so did Harry. Harry Cornick, but as I've said, Mike, they need to start going in, and that's where the, the next step will be. Yes, and goals conceded in the last few games early in the second half. Yep. Is that proving a problem? Can you think on why that might be? Uh, no. <laughs> we uh, obviously have recognised that at Cardiff, recognised that at West Brom. I think you probably were aware we had a half time warm up today. So it's been addressed, there's been a strategy for it. We spoke about caffeine hits at half time and um, I don't know what minute was the goal scored in? 54. 54. So it's not right after half time like the other day but there's a correlation there which we're trying to address. Um, and we have to, listen tonight James, we we didn't, it's another one of them, we didn't, we didn't uh, Sheffield Wednesday didn't win the game, we gave them the game. It's a nil-nil, everybody goes home happy, great away point. That's, we're getting punished for every little thing at the minute and until we change that by winning a game of football, that'll keep happening. The Wild was bright tonight, how important are the players with championship experience going to be for you this season? Uh, very important, I think we had five or maybe six, I did work it out before the game, who've played in the championship um, previously to this season, tonight in the starting eleven. Um, and I think that is important because they've been at Hillsborough before, they know what the environment's like. Obviously I didn't worry as much because we played them in the FA Cup last season, so they've been to Hillsborough, the majority of the players, but Kaz did well, but he still can't complete 90 minutes, we're still building him up because he started pre-season late. Um, Kaz has had uh, two sets of 45, 40 minutes at the weekend and now 65, so it would have been reckless of me for that, that boy's long-term uh, future uh, in terms of injuries to leave him out on the pitch. I didn't want to take him off, but I know there's a fatigue period in the game. We have to protect him, and that's where the job is at the minute. We haven't got our best players out on the pitch, and we're working towards that. And um, Again, I've seen evidence tonight that we're getting stronger. Do you feel the squad is adapting to life in the Championship? quite well regardless of the results so far. I do, yeah, but there's a moment where you have to get results. I'm not running away from that. I'm proud to represent Luton Town Football Club and I feel I feel a, a huge responsibility and um, there comes a point where you have to win football matches and it's it's quickly arriving. Has the step up been harder than you would have thought? Now being your first job as a number one? Oh, not for me. I think it's been it's been harder for the, the boys in terms of the step up. But I don't think we've had I think we've had very, very difficult fixtures. If you want an excuse, it would have been the fixture list could have been kinder to us to help us settle in, but we, we don't we don't choose the fixtures, you have to react to it. And like the Norwich game, for example, pre season, which was really, really difficult, helped us against Middlesbrough. So sometimes the tougher the game the easier it is when you you have other opponents when they come along. So um, you know you're getting question from Middlesbrough, question from Cardiff, question from West Bromwich Albion, coming to Hillsborough. They've been. Uh, I think we've. I think we've we've grew, and that's that's the key. Measure that improvement, and that's where we are. Bonds have lost tonight, and you have them next. Their side that came up with you is that one that you focusing on to get the three points from the minutes away. <laughs> yeah, because it's the next one. It's the next game and that's the next opportunity. Every game's an opportunity to win three points. <coughs> and our next opportunity is Barnsley. And that's where we are. Thank you. Thank you. As, as a neutral, can I just ask you, your first half performance particularly, I thought you were outstanding. How does that compare with your other performances this season? Uh, first half was... First 45 to that. Yeah. Right, when you were in control, they got slightly booed off, didn't they? Yeah. How does that compare with your other 
performances. Uh, if you if you compare it to Saturday, yeah. we were nowhere near the level. Right. Um, Sheffield Wednesday are a uh, really strong off the ball outfit, and we didn't want to play into their hands. I thought on Saturday against West Brom was our most complete 45 minutes. We had total control of the game, playing in a way that will take us further long long term than the way we played first half tonight. But it is horses for courses at times and we're learning to be adaptable between the staff and the players we're going through a lot at the minute but we're together and I like where we are we just we've got to turn them performances into wins thanks guys thank you, thank you everyone Sorry.